Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Hola. Buenas noches, Mr. Benitez. Mr. Benitez, Buenas welcome. Noche. Welcome, <laughs> hello. Okay. Teacher. Hi, how are you? How are you, teacher? I am doing great. Very happy to be here with you again. Ahí yeah, lo anduvieron teacher. extrañando I'm... ayer. <laughs> ¿Dónde I'm está Raúl? Again, teacher. Excellent. You see, Abel anda en Egipto. Yes. <laughs> That's so nice. Ah. Okay, people, remember to put your complete name on the platform, okay? Cámbienle a la plataforma y pónganle su nombre completo. Eso es Yo bastante... Do you see my full name, teacher? Yeah, Edgar Abel Tejada Benítez. César Thank Guadalupe you. Enrique Reyes. Okay. And I see Gabriela Michelle. And I see Ángel Alejandro. And Alejandra Beatriz. Your microphone is muted. Y ese es el secreto de la felicidad eterna. <laughs> Tenía visita. Sorry. Okay. So, Don Jesús, ¿tiene otro nombre y otro apellido para ponerlo completo en la plataforma? Eh, sí, Pichere, estoy tratando de cambiarlo, pero no, 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 no lo no encuentro a dónde. Ok. Ah, ya, ya lo encontré. Ya. Ahorita Ahí ya se lo pongo completito. Excelente. Eh, let me see. Okay. Lorenza Álvarez Romero, ¿tenemos otro nombre o eso es completo? Carlita Fabiola. Para que Ay, me arregle, please, el, el nombre, para que me quede el nombre completo, así como aparece en su DUI. Teacher. Ahora sí, teacher. Hoy sí, mire. Sí, Carlita. Teacher, una cosa. Eh, te lo voy a intentar decir en inglés, que hago que me salga, pero... It's okay. Ay, teacher, I wanted to say that I have a... No sé cómo se dice tos, así que le voy a decir que tengo gripe. A flu. <laughs> okay. You have the flu. No yeah, I, I can listen. Hablar. I can listen. Don't worry. Don't worry, Carlita. Don't worry. Sí. So, By the eh... way, my English is not very good, but <laughs> I try. It is okay. We are here to learn. Okay. Todos estamos aquí para aprender, Carlita. No te preocupes. Solo eh, para que todos estemos en sintonía y podamos tener el nombre completo como aparece en nuestro DUI. Okay. Para que todos puedan tener su nombre completo en la plataforma, así que si no le sale completo, hay que arreglarlo creo que a todos sí ya les veo los dos nombres y dos apellidos eh, Lorenza, ¿tienes otro nombre y otro? bueno, tus apellidos están bien ok, para que los revisemos, Carlita, Fabiola Cruz, ¿tienes otro apellido? cambiémosle a la plataforma, please cambiémosle el, el, el nombre para que no salga completo ok And I think for the rest, it's okay. Hello, Sandra, Leticia. Welcome. And remember to keep your cameras on, right? In the case of Carlita, because she's very sick, maybe she cannot have it. But for all the ones that are here, turn on your camera, please. Turn on your cameras. It is important to have them on during the class because we are going to use them, right? We are going to use the camera and it helps me to have a better interaction with all of you, okay? So, uh, welcome to this new class, to this new day. I am very, very happy to have you here, right? Yesterday, we were talking about what? Do you remember? What were we talking about yesterday? <gasps> you don't yeah. remember. Yeah. The, the most common complaints, right? Yesterday we were talking about the most common complaints, right? The most common complaints from parents to uh, kids and from kids to parents, right? And the things that you do every day, the things that you didn't like, what is your most common complaint at work? What is your most common complaint at home, right? Those were the things that we were working on yesterday. 
right? The most common complaints. And we were also practicing the conversation, right? We were practicing a conversation about uh, these two very lazy kids, right? Who have everything all over the floor. And we did the little introduction about the two part verbs, right? I also gave you a homework to have four things that people don't know about you, right? That was the homework. We're going to use it in a minute, right? Here, we were studying things like, for example, turn down, uh, turn it down, pick up, right? And this one, you say, hang up, right? Those were a little of the introduction of the two-part verbs that we had yesterday, okay? And we were practicing this conversation as well. So, let me see. We started working on this one yesterday, okay? The two part verbs. And these ones are kind of requests that people give us when uh, they need us to do something. For example, when you say, turn down the TV, that you turn the volume down, right? Turn down the TV. And in this case, as you can see, we don't use something in the sentence. What is something that we don't use in the sentence? ¿Qué es algo que esta, esta oración no tiene, no lleva? The subject. The subject, right? It doesn't have a subject because it is a request that you are receiving. And you say, for example, you don't have to say, Nati, turn down the TV. Yes, but if you are telling that straight to me, you don't have to tell me my name, right? Because imagine that I am talking with a... Cecilia, and I say, no, Cecilia, right? You, you need to be very organized with your things and everything. And then I say, hey, pick up your things because I am talking to you, right? Pick up your things. And you say, oh, yes, 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 right? And you obey because that's a request that I am making. And you can replace, for example, the things. In this case, you say, pick up your things, right? Pick them up. In this case, when you use them, you are referring to what, people? ¿A qué nos referimos cuando tenemos este them aquí? We are referring to your things. Say, pick up your things. Pick them up, right? This them is replacing your things, right? Pick your things up that's okay in these ones when you want to be a little bit more polite you say please turn down the music pick up your clothes please okay in some cases you have to use it like this right it is a little bit more polite than saying turn down the music and say like please turn down the music right or turn down the music please Right? It is a lot better to use it with please, right? The second time is not going to have a please or the third time, right? Si su mamá se la dice la tercera, la cuarta vez ya no lleva please. <laughs> the first one, yes. It's like, hey, come here, please. Pick up your things, please. But if you don't do it, blah, que lo recojas. <laughs> And it's Come kind of, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going, mom. I'm going. <laughs> Ahí sí, al ratito hacemos caso. Turn down the music, right? Turn down the music. And those are different types of requests. Here we have more examples. I have here one. Can you help me to read this one? She cleans up the house every day. She cleans up the house every day. Very good. Right? And in this case, el sustantivo, el pronombre, es el que se puede colocar después de la preposición o entre el verbo. Right? We can play with this a little bit. He puts out the garbage. Or he puts the garbage out. In this case, right, we have these two options with the, the one, the two-part verb, put out. Right? He puts the garbage out. In this case, we can move. We can move what we are talking about. He puts out the garbage or he puts the garbage out. out. And here I have some other examples. Let me show them to you. 
right? Two part verbs. And I have here a lot of examples, right? Clean up means limpiar. Clean off. Sacar manchas, right? To clean off. For example, when you are eating pupusas and the sauce goes on your shirt and you say like, oh my God. So you have to clean it, clean it off for you to take out the stain. Put away when you take something and you put it in a different place, right? To put it in a place. To put out. What is the meaning of put out? To take out or to turn off. For example, if you are if you are smoking and it says like, hey, put out the cigarette and then you turn it off, right? Sorry, you say, or you say, put out the fire. If you are cooking, I don't know, la carnita or something, you put out the fire, Psst, a lot of water <laughs> and that's it, right? Pick up, it means Recoger. levantar, recoger, right? Levantar, that's the most common word. Hang up. Colgar. What is something that we can hang up? A jacket. The jacket. Good. Blazer. What else? The blazer. Oh, blazer. Clothes. Yeah, okay. Right. You can. Uh, you can. The telephone. The telephone. <laughs> oh, good. Very good. The telephone. You can hang up the telephone. Now it is not very common anymore, right? Because you can. Uh, you can uh, hang up the phone when you had the old phones, right? Todavía nos podíamos dar ese lujo de colgarle a la gente. But now you just finish the call. And that's it, right? You just finish the call. And that's it. Let out. Let out. Dejar salir. Yeah. What is something that you can let out? Let out the dog. The dog, right? You can let out the dog, right? You can let out the cat, right? Uh, turn down the volume. You can turn down the volume on the TV, on the radio, on the car. Turn down. To turn on? Just what can you, yeah, turn on. Just and there. You can turn on the lights. Good. What else? What is something that you can turn on? The TV. The, the TV, the phone, right? I you can brain. turn on the phone. The brain. <laughs> Come on. In the morning, you turn on, you turn yeah. on. Good. Wait. Let's see. When you wake up, right? Uh, what can you turn off? Turn off. The lights. Lights. The television. The television. What else? The computer, right? The computer. You can turn off the computer. The radio. The radio. Very good. The phone, the cell phone, the video game. You can turn off all that. Turn off the car. The okay. car. Exactly. Turn on and turn off. You can do it both ways, right? Turn on and turn off the car, right? Turn up the volume, right? Turn up. It's like, suale, suale el volumen, right? Take off. Quitarse, right? When you go to your house, for example, you take off your shoes. Shoes. Your shoes. And yes. you can take out your hat, you can take out your shirt, you can take out your clothes and put something more comfortable. What about the next one? Take out. You can take out. Take out the, the take brush. Out the the trash or the garbage, good. What else can you take out? Take out, uh, uh, for example, clothes in the sun. <laughs> okay, good. You can, t you can take out the clothes to the sun, right? <laughs> and throw out is tirar, right? Throw out. The only thing that you don't have to throw out is the garbage outside the car or outside the bus. Don't do it, okay? No tiren la basura ahí de la ventana del carro o de la ventana del bus. So please don't do it, right? 
I, yeah, I was on a on a bus stop one day and there was a lady eating hocotes there and throwing outside the seats and I was like, don't do that, I said, and I throw it back at her. <laughs> yeah, ella la tiró para la calle y me cayó a la par, entonces yo la agarré y se la tiré a ella de regreso. <laughs> so, yeah, don't throw out the garbage on the bus, people. No, 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 that's not good. It is not good. So practice with me, clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Put away. Put away. Put out. Put out. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Hang up. Hang up. Let out. Let out. Turn down. Turn down. Turn on. Turn on. Turn off. Turn off. Turn up. Take off. Take off. Take out. Take out. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Very good. And here with this one, I have a couple of practice for the intonation. You say, pick up the toys. Say, pick up the toys. Go at, go with pick me. Up the pick toys. up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick the Turn toys. off the light. Pick up the toys. Turn, Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Pick, pick the, the, toys the toys up. up. Turn the lights off. Turn, Turn the, the lights light light up. up. Pick them up. Pick, pick them up. up. Turn it off. Turn, Turn it off. Up. Turn do you it see up. the Do you see the different stress when you uh, use the sentences? In the first one, you say, pick up the toys. Pick up pick the up toys. The right? You say, pick, pick, pick up the, the toys. toys. The next one, you say, pick the toys up. Pick mm. the toys up. And pick, pick them toys. up. Right? You have the three different forms yeah. of pronunciation. Right? Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Practice Turn with me. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn the life off. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Okay, very good. What about the pronunciation of this one? How do you read it? Turn off the light. Turn off the light. What about this one? Pick the toys up. What about this one? Turn it off. Turn it off. Very good. This one. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. The next one. Turn the lights off. And the last one. Pick them, up. pick them up right pick them up excellent so i have here a couple of pictures and using the different two-part verbs i need you to create sentences with them okay create sentences with them using the different uh, two-part verbs that we have been using okay i am going to show them to you here let me just uh, send a picture to you. I am going to send you the picture on WhatsApp and you are going to create sentences using the pictures, okay? I am going to show you the pictures as well of the two-part verbs. Don't, okay, let me just send it to you because you are going to work in couples, okay? Mm -hmm. Van a trabajar en parejas. So I am going to send you the picture of the objects and I am going to send you also the picture of the two part verbs okay let me see this one okay here you have and I need you to create the sentences using the two part verb and also the object that I sent you there here you have one example. Let me just show it to you. Okay. Let me just organize my life a little bit here. Let me see. 
And here I go. Okay, let me show you here in the presentation. Okay. Here, you have the toys. You can say, pick up the toys or pick the toys up, right? But I need you to create the sentence. What about the radio, right? I need you to create one sentence using the radio and one of the two part verbs. But you are going to decide which one you want to use. I am going to send you to working couples and you are going to create two, four, six, eight, ten sentences, okay? Son diez oraciones las que vamos a crear with uh, the two part verb and the object that we have here, okay? If you have any question, please let me know and I will be more than glad to help you with that. But right now I am going to send you to working couples for you to finish them and we're going to come back to share, okay? There we go. And accept my invitation. You are going to work together to create the sentences. There you go. Accept my invitations, please. And create the sentences. Thank you, thank you. Accept my invitations. Okay. Thank you, students. Join the groups, please. I am missing. Cesar, did you receive the invitation? Ruth, did you receive my invitation? Samuel Isaac, did you receive my invitation? Samuelito y Elvira, ¿recibieron mi invitación? Ay, yes, Samuel, I'm very sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry, don't worry. And Elvira. Sorry, Samuel, sorry. Okay, Elvira, no sé si estará trabajando. Me comenta, please. Yes. Okay, Elvira. Okay, so I am going to go and check the groups. I am going to go and check on uh, your partners to see how they are doing. And I am going to come back with you in a moment, okay? I send you the pictures. And if you can create your sentences, that will be perfect, okay? Ustedes pueden crear sus oraciones también, chicos. Ahí les envíe las imágenes al chat de WhatsApp. I will come back in a second. I will go and check your class. Everyone, uh, uh, turn off. Turn, turn up. Turn off. Can be turned yeah. up. Turn up and turn off. Turn off. Turn the, off. Way, the way you want. Uh -huh. you, can, you can do it the way you want. Turn up, turn down, right? Turn off, turn on, right? Do you have many options there? Yes. Okay, continue. I will check on your friends. Turn up your jacket. Turn off. Wait for me. <laughs> Del piso, no. Pick up the toys. Del piso. Pick up no, the toys. The... On what? the wood? From the floor? On the... From the floor. 
from from the floor. Room. The from. floor. Floor <laughs> is another from. thing, right? Pick up the toys from with from the floor. From, from the floor. 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 Mm -hmm. Review. The review. Clean, clean mm. up the room. Turn off. Turn off the radio. Apagar el radio. Apagar el radio. With the radio, you have a lot of options. Uh -huh. Turn down. Turn off. Turn off. Subir mejor. Estamos oyendo. Que si están buenas. Usted dígale. Aquí, aquí las vemos, usted diga. Eh, ahorita estoy haciendo el ¿Cómo? Ok, ajá. Ajá. Share, share. Teacher, uh, we don't finish the 10 question. No, 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 don't we worry. Seven. I, I am, I am just observing if you are working. Ah, okay. Teacher. Ando revisando okay. a ver si están trabajando. Ok. Ah. <laughs> Good. Ok, Ever, remember, that this is important. Recuerden que cuando nos salimos del chat, el chat se borra. Así que guárdenlas, acuérdense, guárdenlas en una nota ahí o en algo, porque si, uh -huh. si nos salimos del chat, el chat se borra, ok? Keep it in mind. I will go and check your friends. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Did you finish? No. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, continue working. How many have you created? Uh, four. 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 Okay, can you give me one example? Uh, please put the books away. Please put the books away. Good. Very good. Nice and polite, right? Nice, nice and neat. Good. Finish, please. I am going to check your friends, okay? Continue working. Don't worry. Hey, Reinita. Reinita is alone here. Okay, let me just move Rain. And I will go to room six. Hello. Siento que es como la interferencia. Hello, teacher. We Hi. are in trying to identify the television <laughs> is on or off to make the <laughs> sentence. <laughs> It's okay. You can just invent one sentence, people. Don't okay. worry. You can invent it. You can say turn turn down, turn off, turn on the TV. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can just invent <laughs> your sentence. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go and check your friends. I will come back. Hello, Reinita. Reinita. Estoy queriendo cambiarla para otra sala, Reinita. Pero no me da. Ok. No sé si me escucha, Reinita. Okay, I will come back in a moment. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> the teacher, the teacher. Uh -huh. We are set, teacher. teacher. You are set. Good, very good. Can you give me one example? Uh, pick up the toys, please. Uh -huh. Pick up and the, the toys. Take... Hang up your jacket up. Okay, hang out no, your jacket. Hang your jacket up. Okay, hang your jacket up or hang up your jacket. Hang up is very common to use it uh, together, right? Hang up your jacket, right? It is very common if you use it together, okay? So if you finish, we're going to go back to the main session, right? And we're going okay. to share. Let's go. Welcome back.
Okay. Welcome back, my dear students. I think most Here of we you are, finished. Teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's go and work. Let's go back to the presentation. What sentences did you create with the books? I need different examples. Pick the toys up. Okay, what about the books? With the books, what did Take you- Take off the books. Take the books away. Put the books away, very good. Put the books away. Take uh take out your books. It's a canvas, right? Take out your books. <laughs> okay, put your books away. That's okay. You can also say pick up your books. Yes. What else? What else did you do with the books? Take off the books. Okay, you can say take off. Can you say take off the books? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Puedes quitarte no. los libros? <laughs> no. no. You can say take off. You can no. take uh -huh. off the uh -huh. take off the books from the table. Um, not really, right? Take out the books of the table. Okay. In this case, no. I mean, I mean, take Put off. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Take. Put away the off. books. Off. Mm -hmm. Quitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, take off the books from the table. It is not really common. It is better to say in this case, put away. Put away. Put away the, the put books. Put away the books. Because you have okay. to take them and to put them into their uh, correct place, right? Or yes. you can say, clean up the table. Clean um, up the table. Move the books, right? That's another thing. But I think that with the books, it's better to say, put away. Right? What about the toys? Pick up toys. the toys, please. Pick up, right? Pick up the toys. Any other example with pick the with the toys? Sorry. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up, or you can say put away, put, put, away, away, the... put away your toys, right? Put away your toys. That they should have a proper place, right? Put away your toys. Very good. Or put the toys away. What about the radio? Turn the, turn the radio down. Okay, turn the radio down. Turn the radio up. Turn down the radio. <laughs> turn down the radio, right? Another one? Turn, turn the radio up. up. Turn the radio up or turn up the radio, right? You can, you want, if you want to listen to more loud music, you turn it up. Good. What about the jacket? Hang up. Hang up. Hang up, Hang up Hang right? Your jacket up. Hang your, your jacket, jacket up, right? Hang up jacket. your jacket. Very good. I was explaining a group, I was explaining to a group that it is very common to say hang up together, right? Hang up your jacket, right? Instead of saying hang your jacket up, right? In this case, you say hang up. Hang up your jacket. And that's very good. Or put your jacket away. That's another one. Take yes. off your jacket. Imagine if it is very hot, right? Alguien aquí en la tarde en El Salvador, vea, con chaqueta. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, with this beautiful weather of Holy Week that we have now, right? Ya lo sintieron el lindo clima de Semana Santa. It's very beautiful in the afternoon. <laughs> and it's very hot. So you can say take take off your jacket, right? You can also use it with that one. Let's see. Thank you, Ever, because you send them to the chat, right? Ever sent a lot of examples on the chat. Thank you. And here we have another one, the TV. Turn on the TV. Turn on the TV, right? Good. Turn Turn off the TV. Oh, yeah. Turn off the TV. Good. That's another option. Or turn turn the, on. turn the TV on or turn turn down the TV, right? Baja le volume. What about the boots? Clean. Clean off. Clean off. Clean off your boots, right? Clean off your clean boots. Your boots. Oh, no. clean, clean. clean off your boots, right? That's okay. What about the yard? 
clean the yard up. Clean the yard up, clean the yard up the yard. or clean up clean the up. yard, right? Clean up the yard. The lights? Turn the light, light on. Turn off turn the, on the light. Turn on, turn off, right? Good. What about the trash? Put the trash the away. Out. Okay. <laughs> In this case, it's like when you say take the trash away, you say like take out, right? Take out. Take out the garbage, right? Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage, the trash. Okay. The trash out. Okay. Take out the garbage. And the next one. You can say clean off the yard as well, right? Clean off the yard or clean up. Sorry, clean up. Clean it's clean up, up the yard. Clean off, it's about clean the books. The yard up. And the next one we have, it's, I think it's the last one, the dog. Let the dog out. Okay, let Take the, the dog, dog out, please, because Take he needs to go, out. he needs to go out, right? <laughs> Put the dog away, you see? Throw out the dog. <laughs> that's why that's why we need to be very careful with the two-part verbs, people. Yeah. You cannot say you cannot say, you cannot say turn off the dog. <laughs> right? Ya lo apague. Take <laughs> out. Take out, take out, only take out, <laughs> or let, let, well, take out, you are the one carrying the dog, okay? Si decimos, take out the dog, tú lo llevas con la correa. But if you say, mm. let the dog out, you open the door and then, <laughs> se marchó, <laughs> and then he leaves. <laughs> and then you cannot find it anymore, right? You let the dog out. Who let the dogs out, we never know. Right, but this is a this is a very good. It's a very good way, right? I am going to look for more practice for you to kind of match this this type of verbs because it is good. In some cases, it's kind of tricky, right? It's kind of tricky, and you say like, "Hey, but what what are we doing, right?" In this one, in your manual, you have the same exercise, right? And in this one, you have a specific sentences using please, for example, right? Pick up the toys, please. Please. Turn the TV off, please, right? Clean the yard up, please. For example, please put the books away, right? You can use it like this, right? And how do you answer when someone gives you and a specific request like this one. So like, pick up the toys, please. You say, sure, I will do it in this moment, right now, right? That is in a normal, fantastic world, right? En un mundo perfecto, usted le va a decir a su hijo, pick up the toys, please. Y él le va a contestar, claro, madre, en este momento los recojo. And he's like, ah, that's the most common answer that you get, right? Take take the garbage out or take out the garbage. I me again. Ash. <laughs> so that it, but in an in a good world, in a good world, you are going to say, sure, in a moment. Right. I am going to do it right now. Of course, my pleasure. Right? And then you are going to do it smiling, right? You are going to do it smiling and happy. Don't say ash. No, that's not an answer, okay? If I say, students, pick up your books and study. Yes, teacher, we are yes, going teacher, to study. Of course. Ash, <laughs> la teacher. <laughs> no, don't answer like that, okay? No, I am not going to do it, right? And this is the example that I was giving you before, right? Please turn down the radio. Pick the magazines up, please. Turn it down, pick them up, right? Those are the examples that you have in your manual for you to continue practicing, right? You can also work on the exercise there. You have the same exercise that we were working on the book, right? In this case, I have here a couple of examples, right? And here we have some words that we are going to use. In this one, the words that we're going to use to complete the sentences is the counter. Do you know what is a counter? 
the counter como la el el, el desayunador like ajá clean it's, it's it's like the place where you have it's like como i don't know how you call that in spanish my god the counter it is like a table clean, right no? La, la barra de desayunador. La barra, right? The mess. What is the mess? What Messy. is the mess? The desorden. El relajo, el desorden, right? The cat, you know what it is, right? The oven, right? The dry the cleaning. The dry cleaning, it's la ropa recién lavada, right? The dry cleaning. That you say, like, tiempo de lavado, una hora. Tiempo de secado, una hora. Tiempo de doblado y ubicado, tres meses o oh, hábiles. <laughs> the garbage, you know what it is, right? The faucet, el chorro. The newspaper, the groceries and the towels. The groceries is when you go to the supermarket and you buy many things and you bring them in bags, right? What do you do with the groceries? You are going to... You organize them, right? But according to the two-part verbs that we have here, we're going to match them. The towels. What do you do with the towels? Clean up. You can clean up the towels or... Clean up. Clean up, right? You can say... Hang up. Hang up the towels. Hang up the towels. You like my tripachuca here, right? Para llegar a hang up, it was a very horrible line. Okay, let me just make it better, right? Let's start with the easy ones. Here we have the towels. Hang up. What about up. with uh, the cat? What can you do with the cat? Throw Let out? No. Take out. Uh -huh. Take out. Take out. Take out. Take out. Take out. Right? Take out you can cat. say take out the cat. Yeah, you can you can let let it out. The what about the, cat, the, cat. the dry cleaning? Mm -hmm. What can you do Clean. with the dry cleaning? Put away, huh? put away yeah. right? You can say put away. That's good. But you can turn say, off. Mm, up. You can say uh, you can say pick up. Yes, you can use it with pick up. Or if you have it in your house, you can put it away, right? You have the two options there. What about the faucet? ¿Qué hacemos con el chorro? Turn on or turn off. Apagarlo, me dijo alguien por ahí. Turn off. Turn off. What about eh, the groceries? What can you do maybe, with the groceries? Maybe put away or clean up. You can say for the groceries yeah. here, you say put away, right? And you have to clean up, right? Do you remember in the pandemic? You had to clean yeah. up the groceries, right? That. Yes. <laughs> El que no arruinó una maseca en pandemia no tuvo infancia. <laughs> <laughs> El que no arruinó la masa en pandemia no tuvo infancia. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Washing everything and cleaning and that was so terrible. What about the oven? Oven. The oven, el horno. Turn on. You can turn on the oven, right? You can turn no, on off. the oven or no. turn off, right? No. Depending, right? But here you're going to say turn on or what clean about up. clean up also right you can clean up the oven right because you are going to start cooking you can clean it up very good what about the mess you say put away put away <laughs> yeah put away the mess <laughs> like throw out, it, throw out oh. the mess <laughs> throw out like <laughs> throw out. so you say clean up Clean up the mess, right? Clean up, it's like limpia este relajo, right? Clean up yeah. the mess, right? What about the counter? Clean up. 
You can clean so, up the counter as well. Let's see the newspaper. Mm. What can you do with the newspaper? Wow. <laughs> put away. Put away. Yes, you can put away the newspaper because if you are reading and you are not paying attention, you can put away the newspaper. Away. You can pick it up as well. You can pick it up. And if you say throw out, it's like, tal vez el que lo anda repartiendo, right? Yeah. <laughs> throw out the newspaper. And let's see. I think I have enough. Uh, the garbage. Put out, right? Put out the garbage. Yeah. Put oh, out yeah. the garbage. And there you have a little bit of the examples of these things. With many things, you can do uh, different actions, but we need to be very careful. For example, with the cat, you cannot throw out the cat, depending, right? If it is not your cat, you can do it, but it's not correct, right? So you need to be very careful with the verb that you use. Right. Analyze the sentence. Analyze it a little bit. It's like maybe not. Right. And then you are going to have the best option here. I have here a short example with the cat. It's I, a big cat. It's a very, very big cat. Right. We have a big, big cat here. Let me just see if I can go out. Yes. Here. Here we have a, a little cat. That it's, she's, a tiger. <laughs> it's a little tiger, right? And it says, Mark, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. I can't clean it up right now. I have to take the cow, the cat out for a walk. <laughs> and here you have the little Mishi outside on a walk, right? Practice with me. Mark, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. Mark, Mark, please clean, Mark, up. Mark, please clean, clean up your clean mess up in, the in the kitchen. I can't clean it up right now. 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 I have to take the cat out for a walk. I have to take the cat out for a walk. For a walk. Okay, Mark, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. Mark, Mark please, please clean up, please your, mess clean up your mess in the kitchen. I can't clean it up right now. I can't clean it up right now. Right now. Right now. I have to take the cat out for a walk. I have to I have take, to take, the, cat take out the, out the cat out for a walk. Okay, Joanna, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. Uh, I can't clean up right now. I can't clean it up right now. I can't clean it up right now. I have to. I have to take the cat out for a walk. Very good. Eduardo, please clean up the mess in the kitchen. Yes. No, I can't <laughs> clean it up right now. Why? I have to take the cat out for a walk. Uh, oh, I like that one. Cecilia, please clean it up the mess in the kitchen. I can't clean it up right now. I have to take the cat out for a walk. Okay, don't do it. Jenny, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. I can't clean it, clean it up right now. I have to take the cat out for a walk. Raul, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. Sorry, teacher, I can clean it up right now. I have to take the cut out for a walk. Ruth, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. I can, I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can clean it up right now. I have to take the cut out for a walk okay please okay don't do it anyway let's see Edson could you please wash the dishes what's dishes uh-huh there are many there in the kitchen I can't wash them can. uh-huh wash the dishes why 
the <laughs> the number give, give me an excuse give me an excuse it says i can't wash the dishes right now i have to I can't clean it up right now i have to um, I don't know. <laughs> Inventa an excuse. Inventa an excuse. Imagínese que lo mandé a lavar los platos y usted no lo quiere hacer porque tiene que hacer algo más. I have to play. I have to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I have to play video games. That's not an excuse. <laughs> She's going to send you to wash the dishes. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I am going to ask. Jancy. Jancy. Could you please wash the dishes? I I have I have to study uh, English class. <laughs> okay, don't do it. Forgive <laughs> me. You are okay. That's okay. You go and study. Jose Daniel, could you please uh, turn down the volume of the TV? Turn down the volume. I have the girl. <laughs> what? Okay, Jose, you turn off your microphone. Se le apagó el micrófono. I have the girl. <laughs> Listen, please turn down the volume on your TV. And you say, I can't teach her, but you have to give me a good excuse. ¿Cuál sería una buena excusa para no bajar el volumen de la tele? I'm watching not... a good movie. I'm watching a I good movie, right? I good. can turn, turn down the volume. Turn down the volume. Good. I am watching a good movie. Very good. Very good excuse, Raúl. Very good. Edgar, what was your excuse? I have not TV teacher. <laughs> 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 I can't turn it up, down the, the volume. Okay, good. Le bajé tanto el volumen que la desaparecí. <laughs> Very good. Job. Okay, please. Okay, let me see. Okay, can you can you please let the dog out, people? Let the dog out. I can't let the dog out. Why? I can't because I I do the homework. <laughs> Because I'm doing homework. Ay, 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 ay. El Kaiser ahí muriendo ahí. ¿Qué quiere salir? Okay, you, you didn't let the dog out. Poor Kaiser. He is going to be suffering a lot. Okay, good. So, in some cases, you have to do things, but you have to make up excuses, right? Because you don't want to do something specific. So, in this case, it's like, no, teacher, I'm sorry. I have to do this and that. So, imagine if I say, uh, can you help me to clean up my house? What would you say? I'm sorry, teacher, uh, but... Uh -huh. I'm tired, teacher. I, I am tired. I cannot. <laughs> it's like, no, teacher, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> right? I cannot do it because I... am I... on fire. I am I... on fire. I am I, uh, okay. I am I am really tired. I cannot do it, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Before I continue with the next example, with the next exercise, I am going to call the attendance. Okay. Le voy a pasar lista antes de pasar al siguiente ejercicio. Um, before I forget. Okay. So remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Okay. Let me see. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Ángel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Here, teacher. César Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Let's continue with Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo José. Elvira Lorenzana. Ay, Lorenzo, sorry, I always change your name. Siempre le cambio el nombre a Elvira. Ever Ernesto. Thank you. Eh, Gabriela Michelle. 
Present. Isabel Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Ramos? Present teacher. Joana Yesenia? Present teacher. Jose Daniel? Present teacher. Carla Fabiola? Carlita Fabiola? At one, at two, at three. Okay, no Carlita. Catherine Alejandra? Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel. Thank you. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Ruth, uh, sorry, Sandra Leticia. Sandrita Leticia. Yes, Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. And Jancy. Okay, Samuel Isaac. It's right here. Okay, thank you very much, Samuel. Okay, I am just missing Carlita Fabiola. Just that, okay. I am just missing Carlita. Well, my dear class, I am going to move to the next example before we continue. Thank you, Nidia. Thank you, Samuel. And thank you, Ever and Elvira on the chat. Okay. I am going to start with the little presentations about four things that you don't, that people don't know about you, right? Four things that people do not know about you. What are they? What are these four things that people do not know about you? Who wants to give me the examples from the homework that I assigned yesterday? Edgar, go ahead. Hey, your microphone, sweetie. People don't know that I am learning English in, in English cor corporative. English corporativo, right? English corporativo. The proper names stay the same. Go ahead. Okay. okay. People don't know that I love going to the beach. Okay. And people don't know that I love to collect both. Bottles. Both. Bottles. Oh, really? Bottles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How big? But like, like small ones or the big ones? I have a big one, like <gasps> Titanic. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. Do you have your own boat? Tienes tu propia lancha o tu propio bote? No, no yet. But no yet, but probably the, in the future. In the future. Okay, good. That's good. just for decoration. No, but it's it's very nice, right? It's a very nice hobby. And that was number four, right? Good, Edgar, nice, right? We know a little bit more about Edgar. Jancy and one more to finish the class. Okay, teacher. Um, the first thing people don't know about me is I really write everything I hear. Um, Besides that, don't know about me is I don't like to cook. It's very difficult for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The people don't know about me is I am a defender of the environment and children rights. Oh, nice. And, and finally, I really like the history memory. Oh, so That's... good, right? That you are a defender of the environment and the children's rights. That's so nice. Very good. Thank you, Jancy. Right? And you write everything that you hear. That's so cool, right? That's that's yes. a big ability. And I need one more, one more volunteer. Okay, I will read the one about Ever on the chat. Uh, it says, people do not know I took some French classes when I was a child. Nice. Good. Parlez-vous français? <laughs> that's so cool, right? <laughs> nice, Ever. Okay. Come <laughs> Come on, come on, Sava. I just remember a, a few words. And I need one more volunteer to close the class. Five, 
four, Me three. Teacher. Oh, ya lo escogí. Me Jenny, teacher. go ahead. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Well, in my case, people don't know that when I was so tired, um, I used to fall asleep and anywhere. <laughs> As for example, on the dining room chair, in, on the sofa, uh, on the floor, <laughs> and it's a problem <laughs> no, for that's me. <laughs> a, that's an ability. That's an ability, definitely. <laughs> To fall asleep anywhere, that's an ability. A superpower. <laughs> that's a superpower, I, I, definitely. <laughs> good, very good, Jenny. You see, that is one thing that people do not know about Jenny. Well, keep the rest because we are going to continue with this tomorrow, okay? Los demás la van a presentar el día de mañana. So please have your information ready. For now, we're going to stop right here. And we are going to continue with the two-part verbs tomorrow in your class for Wednesday. Have a wonderful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.